Old Cornwall or Kerno Goth in Kenewick formed with the aim to gather the fragments and nothing be lost. Today that could be seen as preserving knowledge of Cornwall's historic, cultural and environmental heritage. Along with the preservation comes importantly the sharing of that knowledge. Here in this short video we look at aspects of Newquay's development through some early images of what was a small fishing hamlet through to about 1900. Thomas Martin's map of 1748 is the first one to place Newquay on a map alongside Tower, the larger settlement around what is now the central pub in Newquay. Cornwall's famous 18th century antiquarian Dr William Borlase visited Tower and Newquay in 1755 and from his description we learn something of these two separate settlements. In 1832, the London-based entrepreneur Richard Lomax bought the manor of Tower Blistra that included the small harbour at what would become known as Newquay as named by Thomas Martin. The plans included an overview of the hamlets of Newquay and Tower and the track that connected both settlements. It also shows the few buildings that include the inn, now the central, cottages along what would become Bank Street and commercial buildings relating to the fishing industry such as the cellars. The harbour developed from a very small pier first mentioned in 1439 and subsequently a number of other times including by Richard Carew in 1602 his survey of Cornwall. Dr Borlase is writing he includes a brief description of it, enabling us to position it within the existing harbour and what, what it was capable of relating to shipping. The later plans of about 1832 set out new development of the harbour by Richard Lomax, showing within its confines the old pier, slip cove that ships could have also used to shelter, and the old point cellar just to the south of slip cove. The 1839 tithe map shows the land and buildings within the manor of Town Blister and the village of Newquay. The lower part of what would become Four Street has properly constructed mainly the Coast Guard cottages with their long gardens and the comparably massive Rose Cellar. The few larger properties existing beyond this point include the Fort, Red Lion Inn and the historic Key House where Dr Borlay stayed in 1755, overlooking the large active cellar that he mentions. This panoramic view would have been taken in 1864 from Prospect House in East Street, looking towards the rear of 4th Street, providing an overview of the buildings at that particular time. Beyond the field is Beach Road, and from left to right, Beach Cottage and Primrose Cottage, two semi-detached residences where a nightclub now stands. To the right of that is Primrose House, later the Shire Moor and Shire Bar. Opposite and closer to us in the view is the Malt or Bark House. To the rear of these is Four Street with various cottages in time replaced by shops including the Sailor's Arms Pub. The run of fairly new cottages here were owned by the Admiralty and occupied by the Coast Guard. These were built in 1825 and where the car park in 4th Street now stands and the West End Bowling Club as they were knocked down about 1930. The large house called the Yothan, built by Padstow shipbuilder and salvager John Treadwin, was built about 1830 and now a public garden. Back on the far side of 4th Street there's a small house known as Shirley Cottage. This house is still there but now a retail gift shop. It has been so modernised and changed it would hardly be recognised as one of the oldest buildings in Newquay. Carrying along the panoramic view we come to a large low building. This was located at the top of Harbour Hill and was called Rose Cellar one of the 11 cellars in Newquay used for processing pilchards. Knocked down about 1886, it was replaced by a terrace of tall townhouses. Opposite this 
would have been the top of the tunnel carrying the railway lines down to the harbour. Adjacent to Rose Cellar is a large, large mansion known as the Fort. This was completed in 1830 and occupied by a number of wealthy and influential families until converted into a public house in the 1960s. In the background are the residential areas of Deer Park and what would be renamed Sydney Road with its Bible Christian Chapel. These are amongst the oldest residential properties in this part of Newquay and although the chapel is sadly gone, many of the cottages remain. More houses along 4th Street have yet to be built, but at the end of the row is a property originally called the Shipwright Arms, later known as Cliff Cottage. In the background is the bottom of Beacon Road, and this has seen a number of retail outlets occupying this site, including a grocer's, post office, and more recently a cafe. To the right of these is the Red Line Inn, completed in 1835. The Red Line was built by an entrepreneurial woman named Mrs Thomas. She obviously saw potential for Newquay's future. The next house is a battery, later becoming a Polvillian Hotel and then rebuilt as flats. On the far right is a grain store overlooking the harbour, later converted to a residential property and then the Harbour Hotel. At the base of the cliff it looks as if construction of the existing road leading down to the harbour is underway. The tunnel that carried the railway line is clearly visible. What is also apparent is the effect of coastal erosion. The cave on Tower Beach has eroded away so much now over the last 156 years since this photograph was taken that this is now a stack. This brief video provides an overview of Newquay's early buildings through historic maps and photographs and we hope that it has been informative. Thank you for listening.